Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Game & Browse Toy Box. The holiday season is finally upon us, and I'm ready to put up some lights, decorate the Christmas tree, and call it a year. For me, the best part about decorating the Christmas tree every year has to be opening up all of the boxes and admiring all of the awesome ornaments that I've acquired throughout the years. Some are sentimental to me, some are super cool, but all of them tell a story. Today's ornament is both sentimental, cool, and comes with an interesting story. Today's spotlight focuses on a very uncommon ornament that only recently made its way onto the Game & Browse Christmas tree. Today, I have with me the 1995 Sonic the Hedgehog Fun in Hand Christmas Ornament by Inesco. This ornament is really a bit of an oddity. To my knowledge, there are very few officially licensed Sonic the Hedgehog Christmas ornaments. The Sega Shop website has put out a few in the last few years, and yes, of course I have them, but for a long time this was the only official Sonic ornament available. Considering its age and its scarcity, it's no wonder that it's become quite a collector's piece in recent years. Now, let's cut to the chase. This ornament features none other than the Blue Blur himself holding a present and hoisting a Santa sack over his shoulder. The coolest thing about this ornament is obviously the fact that Sonic is standing on a Game Gear console. To quote the comic, that is just way past cool. On the Game Gear screen, there is a winter scene featuring Sonic delivering his presents once again. The attention to detail on this ornament is really great. Sonic's sculpt looks great for the Genesis era in which this ornament was released, and the detail on the Game Gear itself is just spot on. Here's a side-by-side -side with an actual Game Gear console for comparison. As expected, the front of the box shows a picture of the ornament inside, with the name of the ornament, Fun in Hand, on the side. This name is obviously an homage to the Game Gear being a fun handheld video game console. This ornament really is a gorgeous slice of its time. Here it is featured in the 1995 Inesco Treasury of Christmas Ornaments Collector's Guide. This ornament was also sold at JCPenney stores during that holiday season for a price tag of $17.50. Adjusted for inflation, that would be about $30 nowadays. Aaron probably wishes he had paid $30 to put this ornament on our tree, but seriously, thanks dear. This ornament was probably also sold at other retailers like Hallmark stores, but I can't find any documentation of this online, so that's just speculation. I mentioned earlier that Inesco is the company behind the production and distribution of this Sonic ornament. Let's take a quick look at the company's history. Inesco is a giftware company that sells collectibles and other gifts. It was founded in 1958 and really became a household name around 1978 when Inesco acquired the license to what would become one of the most popular collectibles of all time, Precious Moments. During a trip to Asia, the founder and CEO of Inesco, Eugene Friedman, met Samuel Butcher, the artist behind the Precious Moments style. The two struck a partnership that would change the face of collectibles forever. The Precious Moments license was sold to Inesco, kickstarting a huge product line that would go on to be both incredibly successful and incredibly profitable. Now, let's take a step back to Inesco for a second. My mom, who is a huge collector of Precious Moments, was really into attending Precious Moments collectors events throughout the 90s and the 2000s. Many of my childhood memories included trips to places like the Precious Moments Chapel, the Precious Moments Traveling Caravan, and multiple autograph sessions with the artists behind Precious Moments. The very last event that we went to together was a signing at our local Hallmark store right around 2006. This signing featured the founder and CEO of Inesco himself, Mr. Eugene Friedman. That's right, it took me until right now, 15 years later, for me to realize that I've actually met the business mind behind my beloved Sonic ornament. I actually remember this day pretty well. Mr. Friedman was a pleasure to meet, and he was kind enough to take pictures with us and to even give us his autograph. From this day forward, Mr. Friedman's autograph has a place of honor in the Game & Browse collection as an accessory to my Sonic Christmas ornament. Thanks for joining us today on the Game & Browse Toy Box. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun and informative videos. Happy holidays, be safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.